Welcome back to Area DMG. I am your host, Phil Pasli, the Mile High Mouth, and for today's episode of Area DMG, we're going to take a look at the Nintendo 2DS. Now, the Nintendo 2DS can be acquired for as low as about 60 bucks in some areas, and if you're a person who wants, like, say, a pretty cool looking and interesting little handheld, and you're not too interested in the 3D aspect, or if you're buying something for a smaller child, the 2DS is a great option. It's cheap and there are a lot of different things it can play. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what you can play and use on the Nintendo 2DS. So, let's move this aside for a moment. The Nintendo 2DS, unlike how some retailers put it, is really just a 3DS but with a single screen that instead of having, you know, two screens and one that can do glassesless 3D, you have one screen and there's no 3D option. It also has a different form factor in comparison to uh, other system, the other Nintendo DS systems. But this is not just a Nintendo DS, it is a Nintendo 3DS. So, there are a variety of things that it'll work with. Um, it'll work with any of your older Nintendo DS games and any of your, um, well actually with some differences. We're going to go over the differences and what will and won't work on the Nintendo 2DS right here. Let's see. I'm going to make a couple little columns. You see, the interesting one right here to note is that these at the far right, far outside the far left, are um, things like the Legend of Zelda. Like, um, you'll note this is a distribution. It's got an NTR at, it, at the front. And then um, that's the name of the product. And then finally, the region. These are actually very important. Anything that says NTR on it, like say that Legend of Zelda preview trailer, or the NTR, or this Radiant Historia, anything that says NTR will work in any 3DS, regardless of region, regardless of where it comes from. Both of these, like this one that says Japan, and this one that says Europe, they're actually both the same game. It's a jam with the band. Whoop. Let's go ahead and pop that puppy in there. All of those will work on a Nintendo 2DS. It'll take you a little bit of time to load up, but as you can see, it'll detect it and you can play it on the Nintendo DS. Anything with the letters NTR will work on any system. Now, when you get to DSi enhanced titles, like uh, these are DSi en enhanced titles like Solitaire Robo, it uses the cameras and a little bit of the processing power and Sonic Classic Collection, which uses a little bit of the processing power. Anything that starts with TWL, you have to look at the region. If the region doesn't match the system that you're trying to play it in, it won't detect it and it won't play it. That's where region locking comes in, which is sad. And this is a DSi only game. There's very, very few of these. In fact, there's only three of them in the United States. But, if your region is the same, it'll load up. Yep, there we go. Oh, it popped out. There we go. Yeah, if your region is the same, it'll show up. And then when you get to 3DS games, as long as the three as the region right here is the same, it'll work. So you can play any 3DS games. However, there are some 3DS games that have extra features, like the um, improved frame rate and improved processing and loading, improved processing and loading, improved processing and loading. These will work on a Nintendo 2DS, but they will have they will not they will have some features that are not available 
unless you're playing on a new 3DS or a new 3DS XL. Pokemon Moon works on the 2DS. So rest assured, if you're buying one just to play Pokemon, and there's no shame in that, it'll work. Now, a lot of stuff on the eShop is new 3DS only. Right now, until Runbow Pocket comes out, the only game in North America that is new 3DS only is Xenoblade Chronicles. And when you, even though it'll detect it, the moment you hit open, it'll say, this is new Nintendo 3DS software. It cannot be used on this system. Uh, generally, what happened is the new 3DS actually has a much higher clock speed than the original 3DS. And because of that, there are games that require that extra processing, similar to what they did with Sonic the Hedgehog Classic Collection or Solar to Robo, and, uh, well, it won't be able to play them. Now, if you've got a game like, say, Super Smash Brothers, and you want to and you want to use you want to use Amiibo on it, you're going to need to purchase one of these. This comes with Happy Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer, and it is an Amiibo stand. You pretty much just place it over here, and use like and then aim the infrared data port right here at that and then use it to scan an amiibo like that when you need to. So that's what works on the Nintendo 2DS. New 3DS software will not work and that includes the Super Nintendo Virtual Console stuff, but games like Pokemon Sun and Moon or the upcoming Dragon Quest games will definitely work on the Nintendo 2DS. And you have a large library of the original DS titles there's thousands of those available, and they all work, except for a small handful of them, like a Rock Band um, on tour. And um, uh, I think there's one or two that required you to uh, attach a device into the Option 2 slot on a DS or DS Lite. Those haven't worked on anything since the DSi, and there is literally about five games worldwide that won't work on it. But yeah, anything with, that says NTR, DS-wise, eat from around the world will work on a 2DS. And anything in your own region will work on a 2DS, except for new 3DS stuff. And some games which are new 3DS enhanced will have features that you cannot access or cannot take advantage of when playing on a 2DS. But if you're buying a 2DS, just to play Pokemon or to check out some of the awesome titles that are out there for the 3DS now, it's totally worth it. Especially because you can get this from anywhere from 50 to about 60 or 70 bucks. Totally worth it. So if you're looking to buy a 2DS, that's what works on it. Do you own a 2DS? Are you interested in the red or blue ones they have out there? Are you interested in the interesting colors these things come in? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Share this if you haven't already. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.